It's been a bit since we've talked about an RV here on Neon Cab, but I have just the reintroduction to the subject. I have been waiting to do this video for a long time, because this RV just became available to purchase in the US for the first time this year, and I feel that this model is something special indeed. Wingham was born in 1977 by the Turi brothers, who had a history of furniture building. Over the years Wingham became famous for its drop-down beds, and fiberglass bodies. What we are looking at today is the brand new Wingham Oasi 540, and I'm so excited to share more detail about this RV with you today. Before we start, if you enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up, and if you love it, subscribe and ring the bell for more videos, just like this. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, be sure and let us know in the comments below. The Wingham Oasi 540 is one of the smallest, fully decked out RVs on the market today. The small external dimensions, the length of only 17 feet 6 inches, make it even more stunning given the generosity of the interior spaces. This small size, in fact Wingham likes to call this class of camper a micro RV, allows the Oasi 540 to park in spaces other RVs could only wistfully drive by, turn on a relative dime, and makes it incredibly nimble and comfortable to drive. The Oasi 540 is built on a Dodge Promaster chassis here in the States, has an overall length of 213 inches, a rear overhang of 58 inches, a wheel base of 118 inches, and a turning radius of 11.4 feet. In Europe the Oasi 540 is built on a Fiat Ducato chassis with similar dimensions. Wingham takes a distinct approach to motorhomes. Wingham's curving fiberglass monocoques integrate more naturally with the automotive cab than putting a huge box onto the bare chassis behind the driver's cab, delivering a cleaner look more like a single vehicle body. Wingham campers are meant to ride, maneuver, and park like vans, but with a much larger interior living space. As mentioned previously, the Wingham Oasi 540 has a smooth, aerodynamic shape as pleasing to the eyes as it is slippery to the wind. All of the doors, including the rear access to the interior section, are well insulated and can be remotely locked with a single button from the included fob. All storage compartments on the outside allow for a single button press to open, giving easy access. One such compartment on the passenger's side is where the propane are stored, of which the 540 can hold two 20-pound bottles. Opposite on the driver's side is the compartment for the Dometic cassette toilet, allowing one to quickly and easily dump the content at any restroom on your journey, no messy wastewater tubes to drain. Closer to the driver's door is another storage area which is also accessible from the inside, if perhaps you wanted to throw your groceries within quickly and get them sorted later. At the rear is another large storage compartment under the bumper, letting you store larger items like chairs. The entry door's backward position makes the most of the available space, resulting in a huge kitchen and a spacious toilet despite the small overall proportions. The living room has exceptional livability, even with visitors, thanks to the beautiful finishes of the furnishings, and the well-thought-out interior design. The large L-shaped dinette, which faces the kitchen, is a warm and inviting place that can be converted into a single bed if needed. The oval-shaped dinette table is mounted on a translator, allowing it to retract to the ground, forming the support for a bed. The captain's chair swiveling cab seats complete the L-shaped dinette, giving an additional seating area for two to accommodate large gatherings, or if you prefer to work in the comfortable seat rather than the dinette. Fabrics for customizing the living room can be selected from a variety of jacquard fabrics. The kitchen block is separated into multiple drawers and compartments and is finished by doors with attractive chrome push-lock handles. It is seated on the right side of the vehicle and has a contemporary, very European style. There is a two-burner stove with flush top lid, steel sink with lid slash cutting board, and a 3.8 cubic foot trivalent refrigerator are featured in the kitchen. It is possible to install a larger kitchen unit with a functioning support table, spacious drawers, and compartment by giving up the space behind the passenger seat. Probably the coolest thing about the interior of the Oasi 540 is the innovative drop-down bed, which is almost invisible when stowed. The Wingham double longitudinal drop-down bed is simple to set up and operate, with wooden slats and a memory foam mattress included. While the bed is in the drop-down position, the sidewall cabinets remain accessible. A small ladder is affixed to the bed allowing easy access up and down, with an unobstructed path to the restroom. Above the bed is a large window, allowing you to stargaze as you drift off to sleep. The rear-facing toilet chamber is built of solid fiberglass and HPL laminate. The scale of the corner sink console, 
which is finished in pure ivory colored fiberglass, is astounding. The curved, bright and light furniture are meant to maximize space efficiency while providing unsurpassed comfort. The furniture decorations can be selected from a wide range of colors and styles to meet any requirement. I think the Wingham Moasi 540 is the most RV I've seen packed into the smallest body to date. Its extremely small size allows you to easily drive and park at places other RVs could only dream of. The interior is well thought out and the two belted seats are cleverly hidden within the dinette. And the pull-down bed simply looks amazing. It's completely out of the way during the day, requires no power to move up and down, and with the large window above it provides a dreamy view as you fall asleep. What did you think of the Wingham Oasi 540? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. But if you loved it, consider subscribing for more videos just like this one, injected directly into your YouTube feed. I'm Noah, thanks for watching.